to show you guys this deer blind I made out of a gravity wagon for corn. Got some tin on it. Some windows in. I'll go inside and show you. Built this for muzzle loader season. Never had a real deer blind. We always used pop up blinds or bow hunting blinds. So, what I did was in this corn wagon, there was already slots. I don't know if that was for a top or what there was, but I stuck two by fours on each wall inside of those slots. We've got a really, really small pitch on the roof, so some snow will run off. And these pipes are just pipes out of a dog kennel. I've seen some people use ratchet straps, so they put something real heavy in at the base of the wagon to hold it so it doesn't tip over. Um, I just put these on the corner of each side of the wagon. There'll be one of these. There's a spot to put uh, the stake inside the, the wagon on each corner from the outside and then just stop it into the ground and that should be enough to hold it for the wind. For the floor, grab these swamp mats and there's a ledge a lot like this one down there. So cut the swamp mats to length and then it, take this off. You can see it goes down into a slope, but we just cut these so it's sitting flat on that ledge. And then uh, for the windows, just got some safety glass my dad brought home from work they were going to throw away. It's like half an inch thick. And I've just got some simple hinges, very, very tight. There's no, no air getting through for the... Hinges on top, one on each side, and then I just got some nails. And then you can open the window up to shoot. I drilled in this screw here. Probably gonna have something hanging from the ceiling. There's some wire or some really small rope or maybe even fishing line just to hold it open with the string from the ceiling. And overall height, we're at 11 feet in the state of Iowa. You can't be more than 13 and a half on a road without a permit, so we're legal. We've got two on this side. One on that side, one on this side. And we were talking about putting another one on the door. And for the door, I just got a rope. And then this latch. Something else I did was outside to get in there's a latch as well just to close it up when you're not there but when you take it off of the latch to go into the wagon I put another U-nail next to the latch for the latch outside to go into so it wouldn't make any rattling noise it'll just sit It'll just sit on the other side of the door in place so it's not making a racket. What do you think, Jade? We've got some spray paint foot by a foot on each side. You're supposed to have that in your blinds and um, I think it's going to be really warm. So all this tin was scrapped in and then we just had some plywood we put up. We're thinking about doing insulation, but we're probably not going to need it as tight as these windows are. The only air leaks we have are up top, right there, and then the door when that's shut. There's a little air leak right there. We get a heater in here, it won't be bad at all. It's, it's better than negative 20 just on a fence line, so.
And then for the seating, I think we're talking about just having some chairs. I thought about making some um, like sawhorse type thing and just having one seat down the middle. But we might just end up using chairs and then maybe make some kind of ledge. We can rest our barrels on the window, so, but we need to have something, or I'd like to have something for my trigger hand elbow to, to rest on. So maybe I'll have a little ledge come out from each window. Haven't got that far yet. So season's in about a week. Blind's done. Just got to wait for season to open up. All right, thanks, guys. Good luck.